everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays uh, RimWorld. Is that what we're playing today? Uh, I believe it is. Um, sorry, I have so many games going on right now that it's just kind of like hard to keep up. It's like, what am I playing today? Is it Dark Souls? Is it Craft the World? Is it To the Moon? Is it, you know, World of Warcraft? Is it... Um, I, I don't even play the last two of those games, but I'm saying it's just like a clusterfuck of things going on. Let me unboss the game here and actually let's not unboss the game yet because I have a kind of a, an inferno going on over here. I remember that two of my guys are knocked out over here. So uh, first and foremost, my guys that are militarized need to get unmilitarized. So in order to do that, let me go ahead and select these guys, some militarize yourselves, and you guys over here. Um, Nerhesi, if you guys remember, um, Ner Moldad has been, uh, Nerhesi has been renamed to Moldad by the request, I want to say, of James Blankenship, one of the viewers who requested a name. Uh, by the way, guys, let me go in on pasta so they're doing things here. Like putting out that fire, that would probably be the most important thing to do. First and foremost, let me actually, as well, while we're talking, get, um, have them start hauling some of this shit away. Alright guys, so basically uh, recently I asked you, and uh, I've been asking for since the first episode of the new build, if you guys want to be renamed into colonists and whatnot, and um, the, I guess the, what I've been getting from you guys is an overwhelming resounding yes, right, you guys are interested in being renamed as to one of the colonists, which is cool and everything, I will go ahead and do that. By the way, do I have a doctor? I don't think I have a doctor because Batman is knocked out, so for now let's make, I guess, Moldad is uh, our doctor and our warden for the meantime. Alrighty, so let's unpause this again, and let's see, Mighty, Mighty Mike is knocked out, right, he's just taking a rest, yeah, he totally is, alright. Uh, so meanwhile that happens, uh, do we have grades for these guys? We have one, two, three, three is exactly what we have there, alright, good. And for the most part, we won't do anything here just now, because I don't think we'll get a raid. So let's just speed up time. Alrighty, so either way, what I was, what the, what is this? Farming vessel, alright. Uh, can we get involved with a farming? Uh, probably. Uh, I could probably see I could see myself selling something to them or buying something of importance. Let's see here. Um, maybe some uranium, get some more targets. Um, who is our best uh, socialite though? After uh, Bruce Wayne, it's a real problem here, and I'm gonna say probably. Um, well, uh, social skill. I'm gonna have to say it's gonna be either Moldad or Mangina. So let's go ahead with Moldad. Is gonna be our dude that handles a. Uh, Communications here, so you go to the communications really, wake your ass up, we got no time for you sleeping around here. By sleeping around, I don't necessarily mean that, you know, he gets around, like, you know, in a sexual nature. It's, he doesn't, or maybe he does, and if he does, it's perfectly fine, it's his prerogative to do so, he's a grown male colonist, for sure. <laughs> so let's get involved here. Um, let's, um, you know what, let's actually buy the metal that they have. I don't see any real, any real reason not to right now. Um, they have, oh, they have a few uranium, so let's actually also buy that. It costs a bit more, unfortunately, and it sucks, but at the same time, I do want to get a few more of those of targets on the way, just so I can kind of give my base a different type of look here. I'm also keeping an eye out for new mods, by the way, so that when they kind of show up and I see that they're interesting, they don't break the game too much, I'll add them and we have, like, a bit of a different feel going on with the series. There's a few mods that I've been kind of taking a look at in terms of, uh, making the game, um, like, changing textures a bit just to make the game a bit bit different at least, and uh, I, I'm, I will probably go that route once we actually, um, once we actually get to that point, I should say, or once the mod itself um, is uh, stable enough for me to actually add it, right? Just to kind of give, like, the, the whole colony a different type of look, you know, something different this time around. But, uh, you know, this is just things I'm kind of brainstorming at the moment. Uh, so either way, let me get back to really quickly while these guys heal people and uh, continue on with their stuff here. Do we have a blight or something? What happened to all my fucking crops? Which one of you guys is growing? And why aren't you doing it correctly? Mighty Mikey! Need a bolt? Alrighty. I, yeah, I think we only switched over to one uh, grower, if I remember correctly. They still have to build this stuff over here. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do over here with this here is that I'm going to actually connect this warehouse to the main base. Because uh, I've been noticing that we've been kind of, I guess, lagging it really bad, actually, having to go through this all the way around, right? To get, like, uh, some of our supplies. So, it's going to probably be a bit more dangerous because um maybe raiders want to actually invade through this area to get in here but let's assu let's assume that they don't right and let's hope they continue going upwards i just want to make this connected to the main base so we don't have that much of an issue anymore uh what else do i want to talk about today um yeah the renaming thing right um i have a lot of you guys everybody's asked me to like you know get renamed into one of the colonists i'm gonna add you at some point or another that's all i could say at this point I i'd like to get everybody involved and i do plan to it's just a matter right now actually since we are um connecting that. I might as well start doing it now. Apologize for going on a tangent again, guys, but, uh, this is kind of important here. So, how about we just make the... Let's make it through here, I suppose? And do we want to make it... How... How thick do we want it? <laughs> Story of my life, right, ladies? It really is not. 
So let's mine through there, and um, we will put... Well, actually, not put anything else, but let's actually deconstruct this. And uh, actually, no, that doesn't have to be deconstructed now that I think about it. Because um, the wall's going to be there. The only thing that needs to be deconstructed is the one in the middle, right? That would make sense. Okay. And we do have miners, correct? We do have miners, and we have constructors. Okay. Uh, I'm going to probably start working on uh, going to manual, prior uh, manual priorities and kind of like assigning numbers and whatnot. For now, though, I'll just keep it this way until we get a little bit more in-depth. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is also for raids, I've been told that I've been doing this a little bit incorrectly with the sandbags, and I'm aware. I mean, actually incorporated putting walls into defenses uh, in my last colony. This time around, I haven't gotten to that just yet, but I will do plan to put some walls here. I just want to kind of connect this first and foremost, and then hopefully they do this little thing I'm going to handle with the sandbag section. But yeah, going back to the name thing. They're going to put the launch pad under the gold. Silver? Yes. Going back to the name thing, however, um... You guys have been asking me, like, you know, yeah, I want to be, you know, name me this, name me that, blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll try to get to all of you for sure. The only thing you guys have to kind of understand is that uh, we're going to do this by a um, first come, first serve basis, essentially, where... Has that been built? I hope it hasn't been built. No, there's a door there. Yeah, door is closed now, so let me actually have them deconstruct this door. Or if they can, just put a wall over it? Would that work? We'll see. Okay, now, as long as they mine this, I'll be able to put a wall through there and another one through there. And if anything, I have to kind of deconstruct this, not this right there. Okay. So yeah, um, you guys have been asking me uh, if you guys want to get involved, which is cool. I want to get everybody involved. The thing is, again, that um, at this point now, I, I've been saving basically... Um, I'm going to the first come, first serve basis. I've been saving your names as you request them in a list, right? And so far, everybody you see in right now is the fact that they ask me ahead of you, right? Or ask me ahead of time. Because I've been asking who wants to get involved since the first episode of the series. So uh, that's the case right there. So whoever is in right now, don't think it's like a favoritism thing. That's why the reason I'm doing it a first come, first serve is because it eliminates me from picking people, you know, based on anything. And that's what I kind of wanted to keep it as, you know, like I just rather be like, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys who comes in, who comes first. I don't want to go and start choosing people because it gets kind of messy afterward. So um, that isn't going to be the case about that. Um, What is this hauling thing doing here? I guess I should probably, it'd be probably been my best interest to add a door here, right? Uh, or not. You know, for now, I don't think it's too completely necessary, so I won't. But at some point or another, I could see myself adding a door around here. Just so that, um, especially with the drop beacon being... Where is the drop beacon? Where the fuck did my drop beacon go? That's really odd. <laughs> I could have sworn I had a drop beacon. Am I... Is it staring at me? I just don't see it. And somebody's like yelling at me. It's right there, Falcon. It's fucking right in front of you. No, my drop beacon's gone, right? That is... <laughs> I could have sworn I had one. Alrighty, uh, drop beacon. Go and hang out right there, I guess. Yeah, so essentially, uh, I, I want to put some doors here just in case when uh, we buy stuff and they land outside, we can just kind of pick it up. Like, see over here, we still, for this, we still have to go all the fucking way around regardless. Um... So I suppose what I could do is almost like put a door right here and then put another door into the base so that it's probably not as hard for them to invade us. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll keep it sealed up for now, though, because I'm a little bit worried about what could happen here. However, at the same time, when it comes to hauling, like, say, bodies, they still have to go all the fucking way around, don't they? Yeah, okay, so you know what? It might be in my best interest to actually build a door, as a matter of fact. I'll build two doors, how about that? And, um, so let's put a door there first and foremost, or, let's say right, the, right here will do for now, and then we'll deconstruct this guy here, and then we'll add a door right there, and that'll be kind of like the, should have probably put the door, like, over here, actually, oh, whatever. Okay, so let's go about it this way, okay, so that's gonna be how this is gonna work out. Hey, look at that, I like how the fact that there's a little bit of a light still coming in through the roof, so it's kinda like, almost like... You know, if anything, I could turn this into my own, um... <laughs> this should be my, um... A hydroponics section in reality, because we have a little bit of sunlight coming in, so it looks kind of, uh, in the mood and whatnot, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Dude, there's my other drop beacon, what the fuck? Oh man, I, did I really miss that? Was that, it, that wasn't there, was it? Was something covering that? Is that what happened there? If, if that's the case, then, dude, I feel like a fucking imbecile now. Wow. All right, ladies that landed nearby again. Okay, so this is good. Uh, I, I hate the fact that they're bothering the fact that right now I'm trying to explain something, and at the same time, I'm also trying to build some things over here. Uh-oh. 
Speaking of building things, uh, how about you guys get this fucking door and wall back up now? Um, however, at the same time, it's good because um, it, it allows us to essentially um, try to get a few more of you in the game. So, I've been, uh, everybody is asking me, I'm taking the list I said, and I'm pretty much dropping it as a to-do list. Where are you going, Mangina? Are you going to go pick up food right now? Um, I suppose you could do that as long as it doesn't trigger a raid. It's not, I don't think. Nope, it's not. Alright. Um, these guys are kind of really close to just kind of going straight forward up the rear, aren't they? It's kind of a little bit worrisome. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I need these assholes to actually go through here, not through. How about this? How about just, uh, how about we build ourselves like a kind of like last measure type of thing here? So, I mean, if this blows up this debris and these bodies, I'm, I don't care. It's not, I'm not going to worry about that. So, um, let's see, how about we do it this way? And I'm gonna do them not together so that they blow up simultaneously and, like, disintegrate those guys, but I wanna do it, like, one at a time so that, just in case, um, I would like to actually knock a few of these guys out and not just destroy them so I could kind of, you know, capture them and rename them after you guys and whatnot. So, either way, um, where is this guy running off to? Building that? Alright, good. And I have my blast charges right there, so we should be good. Now, everybody get some rest and whatnot, get ready for the raid that's about to come down. And the raider is about to come down now. So let's see here. Let's see how this is going to work out. Um, uh oh. The blast charges out here have not been built yet. Okay, uh, guys, I need to build those as soon as possible. Um, you specifically could build them for me, right? Where are you running off to? Can fucking. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> oh, Mangina. You might want to be careful about this. Okay. Uh oh! Mangina, build it and run back in. Run back in, you fool. All right, there you go. Go back in. All right, none's the wiser. Okay, here we go. So, um, yeah, this is what I was afraid of, of actually putting uh, doors in the uh, warehouse section, because now it's going to invite these assholes to be like, well, why go through over here when we can just go through here? And that was my big issue about that. Um, So here's what we're going to do. It's a little bit worrisome, but maybe, maybe my guys will set this up as soon as possible. So how about we do set up a wall, like, back over here? Put sandbag like so, put wall right there, sandbag like so, <laughs> right here, and this will give me like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's enough spots for my guys there. So, um, uh oh, and there's a few more actually going through the top side, oh shit, I thought it was just like all these guys here, okay, so now, it's kind of, not. we're kind of fucked a bit just because we're kind of a little bit divided, Penske, where are you going, you crazy man? Or crazy wool man, I should say. Alright, Penske, get your ass back inside. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a tougher spot now. Penske, get in here. Okay. Quite a tougher spot indeed. Okay, um, these guys are just kind of standing around here, and you have these two guys over here. I would like you two to actually go around and meet your brethren over here so you can kind of invade together. If that's not going to be the case, though, then I guess we'll have to worry about you in a second or so. Um, how about you guys, um... Oh. Penske's militarized is a problem, right? Okay. There you go. Um... You know, this is not good. This is not good at all. I'm going to actually have to set up these things here, because I don't think we'll be able to build these in time, as a matter of fact. Uh... Blueprint, yep. He's already setting up the blueprint. Okay. This is not too good at all. Alright, you need to relax with this door, okay? Merlin. Merlin the fucking herbalist. It's not Merlin the wizard anymore, he's just an herbalist now. Okay, um... You guys need to wake your asses up. Or not wake your asses up, but let's see. Not not you guys, you guys continue building. But I need Mighty Mikey and these guys who are over here sleeping to militarize themselves. And we have to come afoot over here now. And let's see who else. Penske. Penske and Moldat need to get their asses over here as well. So Moldat, get over here. Penske, get your ass over here. And hopefully this man here, Keys, doesn't do that much damage up through this door. Okay. Um, Harry is over here building. Okay. I just need that door to hold up for a bit more. Okay, it, it is hold up now. Uh, and door is about to go down. So, Mangina, need you to get your ass back over here. Mighty Mikey, you need to hang out over here. Harry Studios, you need to now get into military mode and get yourself set up. You need a bolt. No, not the sun lamp. You need a bolt. You need a bolt has no weapon because he dropped his weapon when we got knocked out. The same thing with Batman, right? God fucking damn it. Okay. That is not good at all. 
Um, where are these weapons, though? Did, did they got, did they haul them off? I believe they hauled them off. Well then, um... You now have, uh, essentially, uh... <laughs> oh, actually, there's weapons in here, so not a really big deal, as a matter of fact. So, uh, you to Bolt, you come get yourself this weapon. Batman, you get yourself a... Oh, I don't know, let's just get the... Uh, no, let's get the Uzi, just for the chance that it could stun people and probably have a better chance. Okay, the door is now open, though, so now... We're in a bit more of a tougher spot here. Okay, uh, Penske File taking a sweet time with Moldad. How is this door working over here? Uh, let's see. Is this worth me exploding? Maybe they'll stop now that this door is open. If not, I'll just go and, um, blow up that beacon over there. Or not the beacon, but the... Uh, what do you call it? The blast charge. Alright, you to bolt, um, get that weapon with you already. Okay. How are you guys doing over here? 100, 100. Oh, we got, like, good defense going on over here for sure. So if you guys could kind of, um... Alright, so one of their dudes is down already. That's good, and let's see what we have here. There's a dude with a shotgun at 100 health, 100 health, and then, uh, 93, okay. So we are doing pretty good with the setup here. This guy is actually turning around now, so he might be actually coming around the corner. Amelia, I need you to do the same thing. And yeah, they are giving up and they're going to come around now, which is what I was hoping would happen here. And we are kind of doing crazy work on these guys right now. How are damage doing? Really good. We're not taking that much damage at all. Alrighty. And there's still two, three guys there. One of them is uh, the Luddite's about to go down. Luddite is down. So now here's what I want to do. I kind of want to go and start handling some melee really soon. Uh, let's see. How are you guys doing here? Uh, 18 and 100. Okay, so Candace, the reporter, could essentially be knocked down to a degree. Now, here's what I need you guys to do. Um, in order for this to happen, though, we need to... Uh, I need you guys to not shoot anymore. <laughs> no, just go full melee. So how do we do this? Let's actually um, mold that. How is your melee? Four? Okay, that's a good amount. You have 100 health, so I could have you go in there for sure. Batman's already kind of a bit jacked up a bit. Along with you to both, because they were knocked out just recently. So you guys, and I guess Harrius, could also go over, go back inside for now. Mangina, um, you are good to go. 100 health, really good. Mighty Mikey as well. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Mangina, you go after, uh, Ryslin the Herm. Oh, Jesus. That was a fucking critical hit to the degree right there. Alrighty, um, shoot a bit more. Okay. And 87 health, and Mangina is at 100. Okay, so here's what you guys are going to do as well. You are also going to go inside for now. Mangina, we're going to handle some crazy melee over here, and hopefully it works out for you. Actually, Mighty Mike, if you can, come and give us a hand with the melee. Uh, I'm a little bit worried as to what could go wrong here. Mangina, you're at 51. This guy is at 47. So yeah, it's probably a good thing I did come and give him a second hand and whatnot. All right, come on. Come on, Mangina. Oh, we... Destroy this fool with our fists as well. So now Emilia and Rees are left now. Her keys. Uh, M16. Okay. So here's what we're going to do then. Um, let me have you guys round the corner over here. Emilia, don't go back over there. The moment that I kill your friend, you're just going to withdraw. You're so close to the exit, so you might be able to do that indeed. All right. So we stunned this dude, which is what we needed happening here. Um, 56. Alright, so his health got dropped down drastically with that attack. Um, let's see. If I could have these guys go over here, maybe we could probably start meleeing this guy. And, uh, 25 health. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, you guys, get your ass in here. Stop shooting them. Uh, you to bolt 90 health. Batman's at 70, and he's at 92. So you to bolt's gonna be our dude here. I hope you to bolt does not fail me. But you to bolt, you will handle some melee over here and hopefully knock this man out. Batman and Harry Studios, you... That stop. Okay, you go inside. And Batman, you also go inside. Okay, you to bolt, come on, you got, you got this. You got this, you to bolt. Oh, yes, we knocked him out. Fucking sweet. Thank you, bolt. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get another one of you guys involved with that guy. Um, this dude is gonna head out, though. There is no way we actually catch this guy. Fortunately... I, you know what I should do? I should probably actually push this wall up a bit more so they don't have to go all the fucking way around to get through this uh, hydrophonic section here. So that was, we'll do that next time for sure. Amelia is uh, as good as gone, right? Did I even bother going after him? Nope. Gone. Okay. So let's actually just mil unmilitarize everybody. Good to go. Um, you to bolt though, you stay militarized because you need to capture uh, 
Keys to Designer. Alrighty, guys. So, good. I mentioned that's what I was going to try to do from now on, and is actually um, be a bit more aggressive in terms of uh, raids, in terms of melee, so I can knock people out. And, uh, again, the more people I knock out, it means the more chance that I'll add you guys have been asking me to get involved in the colony in there. So, this is now going to be... Keys is now going to be one of the guys that we take care of. Uh, Keys is a designer, so I believe the next person in my list is the Herb, Herbe03 or something to that degree. Uh, he wanted a better shooting skill, but unfortunately, you know what? I could name you this guy. I could name you Keys Van Vucht. Uh, I could rename you to him, but, you know, unfortunately, I can't do much about the shooting skill. I mean, I could have him, you know, kind of uh, practice, but... If you want to bypass this guy and wait for somebody else, like you can just give the character somebody else in line, and I'll do that. So you'd be the choice on that one. Um, however, you are very artistic, and your social skills high, so, um, man, this guy is <laughs> not really the greatest stats around. Okay. Um, you know what we're going to also do? I'm going to probably end up recruiting Stone Jaw, and I'll rename us to no one other guys. Just because, you know, at this point, the more guys we get involved, the better, I guess, and it'll be a little more funner for you guys to watch, so... Let's see, everybody is doing something. Um, we don't need two doctors now. Batman can take care of that situation right there. Alrighty. Good. So, um, this is a really nice setup over here. I like this, what happened there. And uh, we now do indeed, however, need to get rid of all this shit here. And let's see. I'm going to have to build a few more graves in order to supplement that. But yeah, so basically, uh, adding those doors right there was kind of uh, a little bit risky now because they do have like more than one place to kind of invade the base from. But at the same time, it does also give us the option to, um, you know, I guess cut our trip around from a little bit. Even though Harry is all the way, all the way for some reason. Well, he's just actually getting that food there. So, what I wanted to do here for sure then is actually move this up. Because it's been really bothering me what's uh, been going on here. So how about, um, the wall's gonna end up right there, right? So let's do this deconstructed. And then we'll have them mine the top area a bit. Like so. Alrighty. And Mangina's over there for some reason eating raw food. Mangina, you, we have a nutrient paste. Oh, uh oh. Why is nobody cooking food? Cooks? What happened to my cooks? That's a little bit concerning now. <laughs> uh, cooks, why don't you, uh, you know, do your fucking job and cook? Uh, let's see, and let's add this door or wall right there. Now, the only problem with this is that I see is that now there's going to be... Well, I guess I could just add another door right here and then... Or another wall right here to make this a door, right? Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Just so that we have that little extra buffer zone, just in case. And then wall this up like so. Alrighty, so now they have like a little bit of a way to kind of get around, which we didn't have beforehand. Um, I'm really worried about what's going on with our food situation here, like why we are not, um, you know, putting food in these hoppers. Is that suddenly not a critical thing? It's totally still critical. Um, let's make everybody a cook then and see if that kind of speeds that up a bit. Just kind of a little worrying me a bit here. Put a door like... Nope! Not put a door right there! The door right there does not make any sense at all. Have you ever seen that? Just like a... What, what, do, you, what do you want, game? Stop it. The door does not belong there, game. I control you, you don't control me. Not just yet, anyway. Uh, let's see, we also need to kind of, uh, I want to get rid of, uh, all the grass in here, right? So we can kind of get rid of the fucking squirrels and boomerats that kind of want to come in about. However, our metal supply is starting to get a bit low, so we have to... Before we do that, we're gonna have to kind of, uh, get our metal back right up, so... For the meantime, though, that's gonna have to wait. And let's actually, for now... Where is the, why is the cooking not happening, though? That's my real big concern at the moment here. I mean, everybody is assigned a cooking, right? I mean, yeah, everybody has a fucking cooking designation. Um, Penske file, maybe Penske file could just be our miner and our cook for now? Or how about repairing? And then he could do cooking, because uh, I'm really worried about that. Trade ships out nearby, industrial trader. And let's see. Rat Lord. Okay, so I think that's a good spot, actually, guys, to actually end the episode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and... Um, Meet with that supplier right now, and just do that off camera so it's not really boring waiting right there while I figure out what to sell and what not to sell, and then we'll pick it up right afterward then. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, hopefully you're enjoying the series, and if you are, I encourage you to go ahead and click that like button. Really easy to do, and the support really helps me out a lot. Uh, once again, guys, um, 
I will catch you next time. And um, once we recruit Keys, I will rename him to one of you guys. And then um, Stonejaw is going to probably be recruited again just for the namesake of getting the most of you guys involved in the colony. So once again, guys, I will catch you next time.